Hey guys, it's Chelsea. So if you're noticing the different setup, I'm at Josh's using the nice camera, using a mic we don't know is working or not. Thought it'd be a good time to make a video and just have a little chit chat. I'm not even really sure what to title this, but it's just random, a little TJ Maxx haul and um, just kind of chit chatting about some things going on in my life, going on in the world, things I wanted to address. I don't like it when YouTubers are like, I don't want to talk about these things because I you know they just want to be positive and blah, blah, blah. Like you guys, we can't live in a world where we don't address the different things going on. You can see we have a little pineapple pillow here from Target. That's not really part of the haul, but um, it's just, it was in that little $5, it's called the dollar spot. There's not really a dollar spot anymore. At Target, it was super cute. It's got this on the back. Sorry if I keep looking over there. I'm just trying to make sure everything I'm doing is like focusing here. So it's only a couple items from TJ. Hopefully you'll be able to see them from as far back as I am. The first thing was this candle and it just smells amazing. I can't put my finger on it. It doesn't say who it's distributed, distributed by MVP Group International. Like, I mean, it doesn't say what it is or anything. But it smells amazing. It looks super cute. It's in a nice metal container. I I just wish you guys could smell it. It just, I don't know how to explain it. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know how to explain this, but it just smells amazing. You know, it was only $4, so there is that. I also got a pair of Calvin Klein Sleep um, pants and they're super light so I'm not worried about like being hot while wearing these these were the most expensive item at $14.99 super cute and yeah and they have the cute little Calvin Klein band I think they are adorable and they're super lightweight and they they feel like good quality and then this last shirt I went back and forth about buying but I decided to get it it doesn't really look good I don't think you know without the hanger um, but it has this little strap that goes around your neck and then it's just a nice flowy shirt and I was thinking about wearing this with leggings because it looks like you know you're dressed up because you have like the thing around your neck but you, know, you can be nice and comfy because this shirt's really comfy and wearing it with leggings will be really comfy so yeah I'm trying to work on I feel like I say the word like and um a lot in my videos. I don't know if it's some sort of speech impediment or something I have. I just had to stop myself from using the word like. But I'm going to try and get better. I'm sorry. I know pointing that out is probably going to make it even more obvious. But I'm trying because I really just say it when I don't have another word to say. It gives me time to think. I almost said it again. <laughs> So if I'm kind of talking a little weird, um, that's why I'm, I'm trying to get better about it. I know Kendall Ray, I watch her on YouTube, says that she does the same thing. She says a lot of like and stuff and she edits it out. I don't have time to edit it out. I, try, I edited one of my last videos. I tried to edit out um as much as possible and still I felt like it was very prominent in the video. Um, see? <laughs> But I have my phone here, so I apologize. I know I don't want to edit this out either. I know some people do that too. You guys, editing just takes so long. I'm lazy. I want to get the video up. And I commend YouTubers that take the time to make all those small little edits. But I just, I don't have the time, y'all. Okay? <laughs> Maybe one day I will, but I just don't right now. Okay. So let's talk about the first big thing in my life. I got a new tattoo. I um, talked about it in I think my last video. I just kind of when I introduced the video I brought it up. But if you can see it says because of her I will not fall and it has a little heart. And this is kind of a and it doesn't look very good right now because it's peeling and healing right now. But this is a very Pinteresty little design and I saw it and I it really struck me I don't know why and my mom's was supposed to say for my girls I'll risk it all and then ours was supposed to say because of her I will not fall but it ended up being a disaster you guys doing group tattoos is rough my sister backed out didn't want to do it my mom changed the design last minute and it's something she was more happy which is just my my name my sister's name in the heart 
So we're probably all three going to have different tattoos, even though they're supposed to be matching tattoos, but it's fine. I mean, we should each be doing our own thing, like whatever's going to make us happy. It was painful, as always, as the one on my back is. Um, but I do have a little story. This kind of brought something up in me. Me and my mom had an appointment. We're waiting for our artist to be ready. And a lady walks in and she's talking about getting a tattoo for her, or her. She's talking about wanting to schedule a time for her daughter to come in and get a tattoo. But her daughter didn't know what she wanted. And so because of that, they couldn't give her a price. They couldn't schedule an appointment, obviously. They don't know what you're trying to do. Are you trying to get a dragon or are you trying to get like a little heart? So anyway, and the lady that was a receptionist like had a lot of tattoos and then this other gentleman comes up and he doesn't have any tattoos. So the receptionist tells her, well, you have to talk to an artist. Um, he would be the one to tell you, you know, you can tell him what she's thinking and he could give you pricing and, you know, you could set up an appointment with him or whatever. So they talk and he doesn't have any tattoos, which doesn't faze me at all. I didn't think anything about it. Because he actually was the one that took me in my mom's IDs. But anyway, so he ends up walking away. And when he walks away, the receptionist is like, okay, so here's all the portfolios of the different artists' work here. You could take a look so you could figure out, you know, what you want to do. And all of a sudden, she goes to this rant. And she is like, what, he was very rude. She had like <laughs> an accent. She said he was very rude. And he doesn't have tattoos. Like, look at you. You have tattoos. Um, how do we know, like, how does he know what he's doing? How is he an artist? He doesn't even have any tattoos. And then the receptionist had explained to her that um, he is actually from Siberia, so out of respect for his family. Did she say Siberia? Serbia. <laughs> Why did I say Siberia? Oh my god. Uh, like a Siberian tiger. Um, Serbia. And out of respect for his family, he doesn't get tattoos and he just does them on other people. And she was just like, oh. And then she was still being like, oh, he's rude and whatever. And then she's like, well, look at his portfolio. She looks, and the first thing she says is, oh my God, and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, people piss me off, okay? If you ask me, that lady's tone, sorry, it's bothering me. That lady's tone was more condescending to him the entire time because I heard the conversation. And I think he was just frustrated because it's just like retail, like, People, see I keep saying like, ah, uh, people coming in there and wanting certain things but not knowing all the information. I mean, you can't come into a tattoo place and not know what you want to get. It's not even for someone that's there that can really describe what they want. And then she was mad because she couldn't get an appointment um, because they said, well, you'd have to know exactly what you want. We'd have to give you an exact price and also how long it would take. That's the only way you can make an appointment. And she, and they were like talking to her about doing a walk-in and she was like, well, it's going to be crazy on Friday. And she was just a pain in the ass. But the ignorance of this woman, I mean, we are at a tattoo shop and this is a corporate tattoo shop. It's called, it's part of Atomic Tattoos. Um, which is a corporate wide known, I don't know if you'd call it a franchise, but anyway, lots of locations everywhere. And she had the audacity, like, do you think they just let any Tom, Dick, or Harry work there? No, it, it just, uh, it pissed me off so much. People can be so ignorant. I didn't think twice about the fact this dude didn't have tattoos. I didn't know. Um, I just knew that he was there and he was the one that took our IDs and did all that stuff for us. So yeah, it just really annoyed me and it was a pretty good experience getting it with my mom except for that lady. She was trying to ruin it but she couldn't. She was just a very negative ball of energy. She was like on the phone the whole time, her, her other daughter that wasn't getting a tattoo. Why didn't you bring the daughter getting the tattoo? I don't know what that lady's deal was. I think honestly she was like projecting her own negativity onto this dude. So anyway. Okay, so another thing I want to talk about is my new workout routine. You guys, I've gotten back on the fitness train. Me and Josh actually had a conversation while we were on the cruise. And it's funny when you break away from your daily routine, the things you kind of realize that you want to work on, you want to change, you want to make better. Um, so, see? <laughs> I notice I'm doing it. Okay, so... We were on the cruise and I was just thinking about my life and my everyday routine and I decided that I wasn't really happy with my health and my body. I felt, I mean, every time I go up the stairs, I feel, or I felt, not really so much right now, 
I feel winded and I don't feel good. I was eating like shit, <laughs> um, for lack of a better word. And I just decided that I wanted to start doing better by myself. So literally the day we came back from the cruise was a Thursday. That, that Friday and ever since, I've gone to the gym every other day. The only day I missed was because of the tattoo. And I just did two back-to-back -back days because it fell... Getting the tattoo done fell on a Wednesday, which was a workout day for me. But yeah, I'm just super excited. And I just want to encourage all of you out there, if you have goals... Just kind of take a minute to break away from your routine and think about what you really want. We were just, you know, sitting on this boat in the middle of the ocean and I was just thinking about all the things I wanted to do. I wanted to do things that made me happy, which is working on my YouTube channel and trying to make it the best I can be even though I'm just working a full-time job and doing YouTube is a little hard to post consistently at least. And that I wanted to work on my body and feel good about myself. So that's what I've been doing and it's very satisfying to set a goal and actually stay with it. Uh, <laughs> Josh might have made the same goal but hasn't really, you know, kept to his word. But yeah, so I just feel really good and I encourage all of you out there, whether it be fitness or whatever goals you have, to get out there and accomplish them. And it's a very satisfying feeling. Take it day by day and just set realistic goals. I know that I can't go to the gym every day. It's just too much. I need a day off to just kind of relax and chill and not have to stress about, okay, doing this, doing this so I can get to the gym. But doing it every other day is very manageable for me. And then, hey, maybe eventually I'll be able to do it every day, but at least every other day. And it makes you eat better and just all sorts of stuff because you can't eat, like, complete shit for the gym or else you'll feel like shit at the gym. Um, but, yeah, and then kind of segueing into something else related to that. I know a lot of you guys have to know about Freely the Banana Girl. She's been on YouTube for a long time. And I just want to say, following my little fitness announcement, that I encourage you guys to watch her new, it's not new, it's the same kind of content she's been making, you know, trying to encourage ve <clears throat> veganism, but I encourage you to take another look at, your ch at her channel if you haven't in a while. She's really kind of redone her stuff and has kind of left a lot of the negativity out of her videos and of course she is commenting on people's lifestyles and diets so if you just can't stand that then obviously don't watch it but it's nice because I feel like she is really giving good advice and I watch her videos and I'm like yeah I, I can really get along with what she's saying and of course I'm a vegetarian I'm not vegan um of course one day I'd like to be vegan but I don't know <laughs> I don't know never say never but right now it's just not something I could do but they're just very encouraging videos and I don't find them to be hateful at all I know some of her past content was a little rough and a little hard to digest it was very like tough love um, but now I think she's really stepped it back and has really gotten to the core message of what she's doing and that is you know spreading the vegan message or you know the vegetarian message <laughs> of you know just thinking about what you're putting into your body and I'm not trying to push veganism or vegetarianism on any of you guys I'm just saying if that's something you're considering or whatever um, I recommend you check out her channel I checked it out recently and I might resubscribe to her because I did unsubscribe I might resubscribe because I do find the video is very entertaining very informative and not so negative and hateful as they used to be okay <laughs> So, the last thing I want to talk about, I, what are you doing, dude? You have like your tongue out? What are you doing? <laughs> okay, so the last thing, this is very serious, um, I wanted to talk about the whole Charlottesville thing, and I debated on putting this in here, because I don't want any hate on this video, I don't even know if I'm going to put it in the title, this might just be like a little surprise thing at the end, I just wanted to talk to you guys about it. I literally cried, <laughs> okay, when I heard it, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to, you know, be fake with you guys, I didn't like boo hoo hoo, you know, a whole night or something like you would after a breakup, but I definitely did shed a tear, I think it is so sad, so, sad doesn't even begin to describe it, but very disappointing, sad, it makes me angry that in 2017 stuff like that is still going on 
and I'm not trying to get into politics and the, the president's reaction. I don't want to get into any of that because that's all very personal. I think you need to watch all the videos on it, watch the actual press conference, watch videos of the actual, I don't know if you'd call it like a rally or a, a protest, watch the actual videos and form your own opinions. Please do, don't let a news outlet or anyone else tell you how you're supposed to feel. But just as a general whole, I think we can all agree that it was very sad to see and I'm starting to see people on YouTube or just news outlets in general kind of take advantage of this situation and I hope it's to start a conversation but I saw, I don't know if it was on, I think it was on Facebook, I saw a video, you know, white supremacist finally let a black girl in or something like that and it was basically showing this white baby, basically KKK members rallying around a burning cross and a black woman was watching and then they ended up sitting down and talking and he was being very disgusting and saying you know I, I don't know his exact words but just you know being very demeaning towards her you know obviously because that's what they're about and I kind of felt like it didn't really do anything <laughs> uh, like it just made me even more mad that that's really how these people feel it wasn't as if the guy was sitting down maybe wanting to you know see the error in his ways um, so that was kind of sad to watch. I felt like it was kind of bad journalism. Um, I don't know what, I, I wish I could link it or something, but it was just something I randomly saw and I felt like it was just, you know, some person or some company kind of trying to take advantage of the situation. You definitely put that woman in danger. These people do not play. Um, and all I learned from it was just how much hate is in the world is just insane. And um, I, I just don't know what to say. I'm kind of speechless about it. I didn't know. I didn't know there was still organizations like that in the world. I thought it was very rare. But according to the video I watched, it's not. There's quite a few members. There's quite a few sanctions of the Ku Klux, Ku Klux Klan, white supremacists, neo-Nazis, white nationalists, whatever you want to call them. There's a lot of them out there. <clears throat> And I just thought, I, I, I don't know what to say. All I want to say is just, I, I don't even know what to say. Like, what can you do, you know? I don't know. I don't know. It, it just made me sad. And I don't want to get upset. And the woman that passed away, and I don't know her exact name, so I don't want to speak too much about it. Because I didn't do my research, obviously. But it was just... A really sad moment for American history and it is history whether people believe it or not I watched the videos and thought I was watching like if you would have made them black and white they would have looked like they were from a different and very another very sad time in America um, but I just encourage all of you out there to be safe and to love each other and I I don't know what would make it better but um, just that I hope that's the worst it can get um, yeah, I don't know, and yeah, I don't want to get into the different things our president and stuff was saying. That's just something you need to watch and <clears throat> form your own opinions on. But yeah, so my voice is kind of breaking because this video is just way too long. It's like 22 minutes. <laughs> I might have to do some editing that I didn't want to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is kind of weird and random. It was just like a haul chit chat video. I'll see you guys next time here on Life of Chelsea. Please subscribe. Please like the video and please follow me on Twitter at Life of Chelsea. I'll see you next time. Bye!